hey guys welcome back to my channel so today what we're gonna do i'm gonna show you guys how i do my curls like a blow dryer or how to use like a curling iron i'm gonna show you guys how i do it with my marcel iron so what you're gonna need a flat iron it's gonna be i believe this is a one inch a one inch curling iron and this one is the baby bliss pro and you're also going to need a Marcel iron. And this is a one and a half inch curl iron. This is from Hot Tools. So what you're first gonna do, I know my hair looks crazy right now. Don't judge me. Uh, yeah, this, I never wear my hair curly, but this is how my hair naturally looks all the freaking time. So what I do is that from, I'm gonna show you guys right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and part my hair. So I'm gonna part my hair down back and then to the sides and you're gonna need a comb a couple of uh, butterfly clips and if you don't have butterfly clips you can use like like um how do you call them shit? scrunchies i was gonna say go go because that's what i think that's what every dominican says it oh my god a lot of people like this hair look on me but it's not for me also, I didn't put anything in my hair last night, so that way I can show you guys what I use. Before I use the hot tools, I use the Cantu Leave-In Conditioning Mist. This is really good, especially like after you take a shower. If your hair is very like curly and it gets very tangled, this is really good. So I use this first, and I only put a little bit because I, it's not really wet. And then for a thermal protectant, I just bought this, but it's been really good to me. I got this on Amazon, and this is a HSI uh, Professional Argan Oil Thermal Protector. And this is really good. It's like snaps right here. And then it sprays a lot, like watch. It's always important to put a heat protectant on your hair. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to section the front sections out first. I'm going to look crazy in the beginning, but you know what? I don't care. This is what my boyfriend sees on a regular one. Okay. And two. One, two. And then you have the rest in the back. Let me just brush this out. You're gonna section a little section out like this. And you're gonna clip this part away. Also, I have this on 415. It goes up to, I believe, 450, but I don't really want to go that high. So I'm just gonna go and put, go halfway. Go like two inches down. Okay. And you're gonna do that, go two inches down for all of your hair. You guys, to do my hair, I swear to God, it takes me like a good two hours. So. Oh my god, did y'all see? God, if you don't have a lot of hair like me, this can be done way easier. Like, you don't have to take as many sections as I'm taking, but because I have so much hair, I just need to. Okay, so you're gonna take a piece. And you're just doing the top. This is mainly for like girls like with a lot of with like curly hair because if you have straight hair, you, you all you need is just a curling iron. See, only so that much. That way you have the ends left. Also, if you see smoke coming out, that's fine. It's just a product. It's not me actually burning my hair. It's just that with, when you have product in your hair your hair starts to get a little bit smoky. Yeah, so you're just gonna keep doing this till you get all the way to the top of your head.
swear, I feel like my hair hates me. It hurts so much. Also, over the weekend, I tried the drink by Jenny69. She did like a last year, a 2019 hot girl summer drink, which was the Ciroc watermelon with pineapple juice. And she added tahing and then she added chamoy as well around the rim. But I don't have chamoy over here. So I just did the tahing with the summer Ciroc and the pineapple. And it was bomb. Like it was really bomb. It is so fire. You guys need to try it. Try it and then let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like what do you guys think about how it tastes. Can you guys give me like more ideas about other different drinks? Like I have a blender and stuff to make drinks as well, but I need different recipes because I get bored, especially on the weekend. Like I just get bored. Guys, my hair on the top is so curly. I be wanting to just like be like this, bro. Like and cut it. And then just wear a wig. Because all the ends are so dead from all the previous color that I had. But I really don't want to cut it. Like, I know I have to cut it, but I don't want to. But you see, it's coming out hot. Let's see. I look like Princess Leia. I forgot to tell you guys don't take very thick sections take them like like maybe an a half an inch to an inch of hair because if you take too much then it's not gonna straighten you when you run your hair through when you run your hands through it you're gonna see that you're gonna find like some curly spots in the middle so make sure that you get every hair strand straight because then it basically you just did your hair for no reason because it's gonna last like two seconds See there, I grabbed too much, so I had to section it off. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this part, the back part, and then I'll be back for the front. Okay guys, so we're at the front. So I'm gonna start with the smaller section in the front, and then I'll do the, long, the more heavier side after I do this side. So the same thing you were doing with the back, just take little sections, see little sections, and just clip it to the side and keep doing the same thing. She cute. Also, wait, did you guys see? This makeup look. Here you're gonna go a little bit more down because you want it to be like a loose curl at the bottom. You don't want it. You don't want to have your curl up here and it's gonna be like, you know, it, it. It depends. Well, it depends on what you like. For me specifically, I don't like it that high, so I do it up to here. Okay. So you see, so far in, it took me 25 minutes and I'm already done with like two thirds of my hair. Let me turn this on before. Cause I don't want to wait. I'm almost done. I don't have to wait till it turns on and I wouldn't really want to do that. Honestly, this hairstyle is, oh, is one of my very go-to's. Also, you have to make sure you really get that root. See, very flat. You have to really get the root. 
Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of this, and then I'm gonna be back. Okay, guys, I'm back. So this is what you, your hair is supposed to look like. Okay, up to here. It looks crazy, but I promise you, it's not gonna look crazy. So you're gonna have your Marcel iron. Well, if you don't have your Marcel iron, I'm gonna show you how to do it. If you don't have a Marcel iron or you don't know how to use it. So for those of you that do have a Marcel iron, there's unlock. It's easier when you have the swivel, okay? So when you have the swivel, it's easier. So I set mine on the highest setting, which is 430. So you're just gonna section off exactly like what you did before. But this time you can take bigger sections. You can take probably like a like an inch and a half. See? Something big like that. And then you're just gonna put the rest of your hair up. It might not hold. My hair most likely probably won't hold. Watch. Oh! She wanna hold today. Okay cute okay so now what you're gonna do take a section marcel iron always do use your marcel iron away from your face so away from your face away from your face okay it's actually too big of a section like this okay, okay. so just take it halfway turn With this, you really have to practice how to use the Marcel iron. I remember the first time I used the Marcel iron in cosmetology school. I burned my arm so bad that I was like, never again. I'm never using this Marcel iron in my life. But then you have to use it for your test. In New York, I don't know if they do it somewhere, anywhere else, but for your practical exam to get your license, you have to use your Marcel iron and same thing away from your face okay okay and this is how it looks see cute Before, I used to think that my hands were too small for the Marcel iron because the way that you have to grab it is like, it's like, why? Why do you have to make this so hard? Okay. This is actually the most fastest part to be honest because for this one you're just grabbing the hair since it's already straight you're just grabbing the hair bringing it down putting it back up before i go let me show you guys if you do not have a Marcel iron you don't know how to use it so this piece right here we're gonna curl it like this back but make sure see look okay you let it go and it does the same curl you can see when I take all these out it looks super nice see that's the way to do it Okay, and I'll be back when I get to the top part, okay? Okay, I'm back, you guys. So, now I'm going to do the front.
this is the last section oh my god I haven't dyed my hair in like probably like two months but before that I haven't I have I hadn't dyed my hair in a really long time because I don't really trust people with my hair and I remember this one time when I was younger me like an idiot I was like yeah I want to go silver I think I was like probably like 15 I mean no not 15 I was like 17 and my hair color when I'm telling you I had every hair color in the world in my hair at that time and then me like an idiot because i wasn't in hair school yet i was like oh since it's already messed up i might as well just put black over it right might as well just put black black is gonna make it all better blah 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 girl it made my hair green like a matte green it was so bad it was so bad it was a bad timing for me yeah, it was a bad time for me. That, it was short up to here because it was all burnt off. I went to my hairstylist. I didn't know. I actually didn't go to my hairstylist. I was supposed to go to her. But in that salon, in that salon, there's too many people there. So I was like, I cannot go in there. What if somebody in there knows me? Like, no, no way, man. No way. So I went somewhere else where, I didn't, where they didn't know me. Oh, I didn't even show you guys. I'm using the Olaplex. Hold on. Olaplex number seven bonding oil. This is a very lightweight oil. I just put a little bit, like a couple of drops in my hands. And then just, you know, just shake it with your hands. Let's see, look. Gives you like that nice bounce at the bottom. cute i'm looking so cute and i'm not going nowhere so this is the final product what do you guys think about it let me know what you guys think in the comments below how do you guys feel about my hair if i miss a spot in the bag don't judge me if i did if i did good looks okay yeah Okay guys, so that is it for this video. If you guys want to see more videos like this, let me know down below. I'm going to link everything below. I'm also going to link down below the tools that I use this and my flat iron. So don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you very much and have a great day.